I was wondering where you were. I needed to think. I like it here. I come here often. It's like being alone with the world. We freed hundreds of our people, and they're still coming from all over the city. Those who dream of freedom come to Jericho. Something's changing. You seem preoccupied. They all obey me. They follow me without question. And that much power feels good. And scary at the same time. All the media are talking about what we did last night. The humans are terrified. They're afraid of a civil war. Many of our people were burned in response to what happened. The humans hate us. They'll never give us our freedom. If they won't listen, we'll fight. You haven't said much about yourself since you've been with us. What was your life like before Jericho? I was caring for an old man. He was like a father to me. He showed me that humans and androids can live together. What about you? You never told me about your past. What did you do before? I don't want to talk about it. North, we're fighting together. We have to know things about each other to trust each other. Why do you hate humans so much? There must be a reason. I told you, I don't want to talk about it. I was nothing. A doll in a distributor program to satisfy humans. Just a toy designed for their pleasure. One day I was with a man who rented me. And without knowing why, I realized I couldn't take it anymore. I strangled him and I ran away. There, now you know everything. dead in his studio. I saw your memories, too. The Eden Club. The, the death of that man. I felt like I was there with you. North. This is suicide. We'll all be killed. Please, Marcus, it's not too late to change your mind. You don't understand. We're finally gonna show them who we really are. This place will go down in history. We'll be killed on the spot. That's the risk I'm prepared to take if it means freedom for our people. Marcus, please don't do this. They'll understand. We'll make them understand. This is the only way. There are androids here who could join us. The more we are, the stronger our message. You're free.
You're awake now. Androids are everywhere, and they listen to everyone. Come with us. You're free. You're free now. Hey! Where do you think you're going? You get back here! I need to block the street. You You're free. You don't have to obey them. You're free.
Jesus fucking Christ! This bed's patrol 457. I got a lot of androids down here. I don't know, hundreds. No more sleep! They're marching. Yeah, they're marching down the street. No more sleep! Fuck if I know. Set us free! We came here to demonstrate peacefully and tell humans that we are living beings. All we want is to live free. This is an illegal gathering. Disperse immediately or we will open fire. We're not looking for confrontation. We've done no harm. We have no intention of doing any. But know that we are not going anywhere until we have secured our freedom. I repeat, this is an illegal gathering. If you do not disperse immediately, we will shoot. Marcus, they're gonna kill us. We have to attack. There's more of us, we can take them. If we attack, we'll start a war. We have to show them we're not violent. We should just stand our ground, even if it means dying here. This is your last chance. Disperse immediately, or you will all be killed. We have to show them we won't back down. We stay right here. Disperse! This is your last chance! We have to make a statement. We have to stay put no matter what. Please, Marcus. We can't let them slaughter us without fighting back. We're not moving. They're gonna kill us all!
After what happened today, the country is on the verge of a civil war. The machines are rising up against their masters. Humans have no choice but to destroy them. I thought Kemsky knew something. I was wrong. Maybe he did. But you chose not to ask. Kemsky was just playing with me. He didn't know anything. I saw a photo of Amanda at Kamsky's place. She was his teacher. When Kamsky designed me, he wanted an interface that would look familiar. That's why he chose his former mentor. What are you getting at? Where does Cyberlife stand in all this? What do they really want? All Cyberlife wants is to resolve the situation and keep selling androids. Did Kemsky design this place? I expect you to find answers, Connor. Not ask questions. Have you experienced anything unusual recently? Any doubts or conflicts? Do you feel anything for these deviants? Or for Lieutenant Anderson? I don't know what you're talking about. I don't feel anything. You know that. Are you suggesting that I've been compromised? No. No, of course not. You're off the case. The FBI is taking over. What? But we're onto something. Wait, we just need more time, I'm sure we Hank, you don't get it. This isn't just another investigation. It's a fucking civil war. It's out of our hands now. We're talking about national security here. Fuck that. You can't just pull the plug now, not when we're so close. You're always saying you can't stand androids. Jesus, Hank, make up your mind. I thought you'd be happy about this. We're about to crack the case. I know we can solve it. For God's sake, Jeffrey, can't you back me up this one time? There's nothing I can do. You're back on homicide and the android returns to Cyberlife. I'm sorry, Hank, but it's over. Hank, what are you doing? Something I should have done a long time ago. Listen, take a few days to think it over. There's no rush. I thought enough about it. I'm tired of going through the motions. There's nothing keeping me here, not this case. Not my partner. I don't belong here anymore. to get out of his cell. No fucking idea. Come on, you. Get a move on. Hey, Connor. I'm talking to you, asshole. 
Where are you going? Yes, yeah, so I'm talking to you. Eccentric police lieutenant shoes. Obviously. Where is Jericho? The answer's here somewhere. I'm with Rumor. The android is the birds. Hear me? Rupert's diary, but it's useless. It's encrypted. that you recognize our dignity, our hopes, and our rights. Together, we can live in peace and build a better future for humans and androids. This message is the hope of a people. You gave us life, and now the time has come for you to give us freedom. Marcus, where are you hiding?
one of the deviants that hacked the TV station with Marcus. It must have known where the deviants are hiding. I've been dreaming about this since the first second I saw you. Don't do it, Gavin. I know how to stop the Deviants. You're off the case. And now, it's gonna be definitive. Get the alarm! Now! <laughs> 